Have you ever wondered why schools don't teach us about money? It's a question that may have crossed your mind. While we learn about geometry, history, and science, the topic of finance often slips through the educational cracks. But why is that? Let's talk about financial literacy. It's a fancy term that simply means understanding how money works. It's about knowing how to save, spend, and invest wisely. Picture this. You've been eyeing that super cool action figure at the toy store. Now, wouldn't it be great if you knew how to save your allowance efficiently to buy it? That's financial literacy in action. The importance of this skill extends far beyond the toy store. It sets the foundation for making smart money decisions throughout life. Yet, despite its significance, financial education remains absent from most school curriculums. So, why do most parents shy away from teaching their kids about money? Most parents make these common mistakes when teaching their kids about money. First off, a lot of parents simply don't talk about money. It's almost like it's a taboo subject, but the reality is, money matters are a part of everyday life. By not discussing finances, parents are missing a crucial opportunity to teach us kids its value and how it works. Secondly, many parents neglect to teach their kids about saving. It's not just about stashing away pennies in a piggy bank. It's about understanding the concept of delayed gratification and how saving a little bit today can lead to a big reward tomorrow. Lastly, there's the mistake of not explaining the concept of earning to kids. Earning money isn't just about getting a paycheck. It's about understanding the relationship between work and reward and how effort invested can translate into financial gain. But what if parents could avoid these mistakes here are some financial lessons we kids wish our parents taught us. First on our list is the value of money. Let's imagine money as a toy. A toy you worked hard to get. You wouldn't want to lose or damage it, right? That's how we should treat money. It's not just paper and coins, but hard-earned rewards. Next, we have the concept of saving. Think of your piggy bank as a tiny warehouse. The more you put in, the more you'll have for later. It's like storing up candies for a rainy day. Then comes budgeting. Imagine you have 10 cookies. You can eat all at once, but you'll be hungry later. Or you could plan, eat a few now, save some for later, and even share some with friends. That's budgeting. Lastly, investing. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow into a tree. You put in some effort, wait patiently, and eventually, you'll have more than you started with. Remember, the best time to learn about money is now. So what have we learned today? We've underscored the value of financial education, highlighted common parental missteps, and pinpointed essential monetary lessons for children. By teaching us kids about money, you prepare us for a financially secure future. So start the money talk now.